What's up, you guys? I am about to get ready. I'm going to an event tonight. Decided to do a little vlog. Don't mind everything around me right now. It's literally a disaster zone in my room. A lot's going on. But I'm excited because tonight I'm going to Hotel X in Toronto, which is a bougie, bougie, bougie um, hotel. And the reason I'm going is because Pennington's is having me as well. Well, not as well. Pennington's is having me there and I'm looking forward to it. This is for Meredith. Meredith is on breakfast television, which is a morning like news source here in uh, Toronto or Canada. Don't mind my hair. It's giving very much forehead. Um, but she is like a breakfast television host and she has a collection in collaboration with Penn. It's a holiday collection. So I'm so excited because the last Pennington's event met so many incredible girls. So I'm excited to meet more incredible girls and hopefully see some that I already met before. But um, they sent me an outfit to wear, okay? So I was hand-selected to wear an outfit by Pennington's. Um, and I believe I'm going up on stage. So yeah. Um, that's just my life. I'm a little tired though, I'm not gonna lie. I ran so many errands this morning. I worked out, and then I went grocery shopping. I took my nana and my mom grocery shopping. Ugh, so I'm pretty tired. Like, I could go for a nice iced matcha latte right now, but I am running a little off schedule so I have to hurry up and just get my glam so yes I'm just refreshing my face with a makeup wipe I know that's kind of trivial because usually you're supposed to like wipe your face after with like some cleanser but no no miss girl <laughs> okay so for a serum I'm gonna do a, a quick little serum moment um, a serum. I'm just gonna do this nice cinnamide serum from Naturium. I like to layer skincare underneath my makeup. Um, but yeah, I'm going looking forward. I'm actually gonna be driving myself down there because it's at the Hotel Axe, like I said, and it's like bougie. It's like a really bougie hotel. Like every time celebrities or athletes come into the city. Uh, that they usually stay at that hotel other than like the four seasons on like Bloor or whatever you people celebrities athletes stay at Hotel X so yeah so we're gonna go there and be bougie let's be bougie let's be bougie I'm gonna use this so yeah I gotta quickly do my makeup my fucking chair is extremely fat phobic. Listen. I'm not living for that. Not today. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to try to film as much as I can for y'all. Because I know you guys love the vloggies. And I have just been so like wrapped up with my personal life. My life. I haven't been able to vlog and do cutesy fun things and although i have been doing those things i felt the need to not vlog it i don't know i just sometimes i feel like no one's watching or no one cares um but i think i'm wrong because you guys are watching right now let me know am i wrong do you guys care i feel like you guys care i see y'all i see y'all all the time especially you guys who comment i know there's lots of people that don't comment but the girlies that do you girlies really brighten my day when you comment just because it's nice to see that support you know putting on some primer but yeah i've been going through a phase where it's like I feel like I always go through this phase where I feel like no one really cares. No one's, no one's really watching. No one gives a crap. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys are watching. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Girl. Girl, you better stop. I swear. I feel like it's like your self-sabotage always trying to tell you things. 
that aren't true whatsoever. And I am like a living product of not listening to your self-sabotage and just doing. Just go and do it. So I gotta take my own advice sometimes, you know? But yeah, I'm just gonna beat this fucking face. Beat her up. Beat her up. I'll beat her up. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but I've noticed my eyes have been getting a little darker. And I feel like they're just a little sensitive to things and also I don't think it looks bad I just noticed the skin on my eye is a little darker than other areas it's actually giving like Pete Davidson vibes we're kind of living we're living actually does he have any controversies about him I don't know never mind we're not living if he does if he does we're not living if he doesn't we're living I'm tired, but I gotta get glam, miss my hand. Okay, perfect, foundation is on. Then we're gonna go in with concealer. I love Rare Beauty, by the way. Rare freaking beauty. I'm using concealer, bronzer, and blush from Rare Beauty. I love Rare Beauty. Because their stuff, yes, it's on the higher expensive side, but it is cheaper than a lot of other things. Like, it's not, like, high expensive, like, high, high, high. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, a medium. Compared to the drugstore makeup, it's more than that. But it's still reasonable. It's not, like, over the top. So I like the prices. I like the quality as well. And if you're asking me, oh, do you like Selena Gomez, yes or no, I honestly don't care. I honestly, I'm not the girly to be obsessed with celebrities. Unless it's like an actor who I love, then I'm obsessed. Or like a wrestler. I tend to be obsessed with wrestlers. Well, not obsessed. Like, I'm literally obsessed over nobody. Like, I can't be that girl. You know? Oh, you know who I have like a slight obsession with? Not a crush, but... Just an obsession, like I love listening to his podcast and I think he's so freaking funny. But Stavros, Stav, Stabby Baby, Stavros Helkias, I think, Helkias, Stavros Helkias. He has a Greek last name, he's Greek. He is that comedian that does really good crowd work, he has a podcast, he's super fucking funny. Oh my god, and I love that he's like plump, I love it. I love seeing fat people win, you know? So, yeah, I listen to his podcast, and I just love it when he just shoots the shit with, like, fellow comedians. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I, I just, like, I don't really like many comedians. I think they're so cringe and not funny at all. But I actually do like his stuff. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm obsessed. But I have been loving his podcast. So, yeah, that's just me. That's just me. I feel like I'm going to just talk to you guys while I get ready. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've also steered away from beauty blenders. Now I use brushes for everything. And it actually works really well. Like, this is a concealer brush from Lady Gaga's makeup brand, House Labs. And girl, look at that freaking blending, you know. This is from Sephora, the Sephora collection. It is just like a bronzing blender outer. <laughs> it's a blender outer. And I'm trying to just get ready really fast because I'm on a little bit of a time crunch. I have dinner to be uh, ready soon. Like I have to like pop in the chicken in the air fryer and stuff. I just do chicken breasts from Kirkland, from Costco. I season them. Um, and then I pop them in the air fryer. They come frozen. I get them, like, vacuum sealed frozen. I love them. They're so good. So high in protein. Body. Okay, so let's add some blush. This, I only put, like, a dab because it is so coverage, the full coverage. Full coverage vibes. See? You don't really need much. Um, 
Yeah. It's giving. So yeah, I'm walking on stage tonight. Isn't that crazy? I have to arrive a little bit early so that I can, I guess, go and understand the stage. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So it's nice. It's a full circle moment. Sometimes you gotta, like for example, this year was the first year I was invited to their, their um, swimmer, or their swimmer. They're a pool party, and I was so excited to be invited. Sometimes you literally have to, um, well, it's really important as an influencer to go to events because you never know who you're going to meet. Like, I, there's lots of times where I'm thinking, like, oh, I don't really feel up to it today, or I feel tired, like, but then whenever I go, I'm always so happy that I went. These events are honestly, like, a treat. Like, it feels like... An, a reward for all your work that you've done on social media that you've now gained access to these rooms with people you've unlocked doors where you can enter rooms with a group of people who are like-minded and who are successful in their own right in their own lane you know so i'm excited y'all i know i'm gonna see lots of girlies tonight and like the plus size girlies, I get so happy. I get so happy seeing pl fellow plus size girls. Like, honestly, it's like we've been through so much. <laughs> All of us have been through so much in our lives. Like, geez Louise, we've been through so much. And especially being plus size, being online, being vocal about body positivity. You know, being vocal about our lifestyles. If we all of a sudden want to start working out and want to start, you know, eating healthy or whatever the hell the case is, you know, that comes with problems too. I got, like, ever since I've been on my fitness journey, I've been getting DMs about, are you on Ozempic? Did you take Ozempic? And no, I'm not. <laughs> um... And my goal is, my goal from the get-go, you guys, was never even weight loss. It's like, literally, I need to feel good. I need to feel good, physically and mentally. So, yeah. And I feel so strong and energized. I'm so grateful that I've been on this journey. And I think it's empowering to be, to be plus size and be fit and be active and be fit. That is so, so empowering. So, yeah, girl, we doing it. We are doing it. So yeah, so it's going to be exciting to be with fellow plus size girlies who go through similar, who have similar experiences as me, you know? I love going into a room where it's like we all get each other. We all get it. It's just so refreshing. Anyways, I'm going to just finish up my makeup, you guys, because I've been like ramble shramble. Ramble shramble. And then I'll show you guys my finished makeup and my final look. Okay? Okay. This is the finished look, you guys. I'm wearing this long shirt with the matching pants. I love this sparkly Hollywood glamour holiday vibe. And I'm actually pairing it with some gold jewelry. I love these gold earrings so much. Um, some gold rings, too. I also am wearing a bra from Pennington's underneath. So I think it just looks so cute. I cannot wait to make it out there. I'm a bit early. There's nothing wrong with being early, right? By the way, this combination, this lip combination is so beautiful. This is MAC Stone Lip Liner with the Fenty Beauty freaking Blazed Donut. Is it Blazed Donut? Yeah, Blazed Donut Lippy, which is this gorgeous pinky nude, more on the nude side. Super hydrating and glossy. But I guess I am ready. Just gonna strap my stuff. I feel like something looks like it's missing. Like, almost like maybe I should do a necklace with this. I think I'm gonna do a necklace. One sec. Yeah, I feel like... What's missing is a necklace because my whole neck is open. I think this something like this would be nice just to 
Oh, but then again, I might look like too much of a pimp. Oh, no, screw it. Oh, and I'm actually really hot right now. Like, overheated. Because it's October, but I swear it is like weather, like summer weather outside. And I can't wait for it to be chilly. Beach. I think this helped. So, this is the outfit. I'm actually gonna. I feel like it needs to. Or maybe if I wear it like that. But then I kind of like the look of that as well. So, I'm kind of not sure on what to do. And before you guys even are able to tell me what's better, this video's already posted and I already have been there and I've already came home. <laughs> so, I think I like this. I think it's giving. Okay, now I need perfume. You guys know I love my perfume. And I think I'm gonna go for something Glamorous. This is Carolina Herrera. I love her perfume so much. And I want glamour. Glamour. It's glam. Oh, by the way, for heels, I'm going to wear these nude heels from Torrid. I love them. They're so easy to walk in. So, yeah, you guys, that's the outfit. I'm going to get downtown gonna get headed downtown oh, yeah hey girl so i made it to the hotel axe i parked underground because i'm a bougie girl i drove myself here all by myself yeah she's grown she's a grown woman <laughs> went up the elevator to the main floor it was decked out look at the freaking floor it's so beautiful i was like okay so we're bougie bougie today bougie 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 um and i felt so bougie with my outfit i was looking fierce and then I went to uh, enter the event space. They had it closed off. So I was able to get early access because I was going to be on the stage. And as you can see how beautiful it is. If you look down though, that floor is see-through. It's a see-through floor, which kind of freaked me out a bit. Look at me on stage, y'all. Um, so the decor it was so beautiful this event space. I was like shook. Okay, so here's the floor Oh my god, I had so much anxiety looking down <laughs> It was see-through imagine if I just fell right through like I cannot I have a fear of heights by the way But this is her collection and it is already online and in stores. So check it out if you're Canadian based this is me, Tracy, and Brittany. Tracy and Brittany are TV girlies, local TV girls, you guys. I'm, I'm so excited to see Tracy. I, that was my first time meeting Brittany. Um, so lovely, lovely woman. There was hors d'oeuvres. This was the drinks. The, um, the drinks was like uh, some cocktails, crafted cocktails. I didn't drink this time because I drove there. I was trying to be responsible, but Tracy got that drink delish um so that's my girl boz we were having a blast and spencer as well follow me on instagram i did tag them on my instagram reel if you're wondering um so we were waiting for the presentation and this was like the intro to the collection so exciting and be unapologetically ourselves <laughs>
curved supermodels, and that is Brittany Blair, and that is Justine Legault. And there's a two of them that you see on the campaign, and this night really is about celebrating who we are in Canada. Because uh, so often there is some thought that we gotta go to be celebrated, and I really wanna bring that back here to Canada, both in a business sense, in a fashion sense, in everything. Yes, and so I really, it meant a lot to yes, me for you to be there with me in Montreal. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. So thank you. Thank you, mm -hmm. Brittany. My history with Penn is a long one. I started as a customer uh, years ago. And then I was scouted as a model and they were the first brand that gave me my first big campaign. And my first agent, Lise, is here tonight. Uh, yeah, Lise Mendishman, one of the OG Canadian supermodels as well. She taught me so much. stand on your shoulders and I love you so much. So thank you for, for being here. Uh, and this was me on stage finally. Thanks so much, Meredith, for choosing me to strut in that outfit. This was all of us. The collection is so gorgeous and I'm so happy to even be selected. This was insane and it's truly a day I'll never forget. Um, I really want to thank you all for being here. Uh, this, again, means so much. Um, I want to thank every single one of you for taking the time to be here. I literally love every single one of you. I've been hugging every single one of you. It is absolutely true. I'm back at home. I'm sorry that I'm filming from my room. I'm always like filming from here, but I'm so tired and ready to go to bed, take my makeup off and go to bed. I had such an incredible time. I honestly felt like a superstar. Like everyone was so nice to me, especially after like I got off the stage, like so many people came up to me and said how they loved my outfit. Um, and I'm like, guess where I got it? Pennington's, duh. But no, it was such an incredible event, and I love these events personally so much because I get to see and meet so many incredible people in the plus-size community that are online making content just like me, and it is just inspiring to see all of these girls show up and show out, and I'm honored to honestly be a part of them that group of people that group of canadian plus size girls making content here in toronto or nearby um yeah i had so much fun you guys i went on stage i was like oh girl i hope i don't trip on stage i hope i'm okay but i made sure to laser focus and pose and show off the outfit but anyway girl i met so many amazing girlies so many amazing girls um so once again, another fabulous event on Olivia's World 95 this channel. On Olivia's World 95 YouTube channel. Um, what else? What else? I'm, I'm so tired. I had such a long day today. But yes, I'm so thankful to Pennington's for choosing me to model. Um, and just inviting me and having me there. It's so nice to be in a group of people of like-minded girlies who are in the same industry as you. Plus size content creation. And it's just really nice. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have a fabulous evening. Whatever. Morning, evening, night. Morning, afternoon, evening, night. Wherever you are. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!